Hello animators, how's it going? Okay, Mike Walling here with a animation tip from the pros for animation students out there. Today we're gonna to talk about efficiencies. One of the things that I struggled with forever was the fact that the way my hotkeys were set up, I always had to look down on my keyboard, look back up at my monitor as I shifted my hands from keys like my WER and then going over to my arrow keys and being able to step through my keys um, and just doing that all day long. Talk about eye fatigue, right? So today we're gonna talk about hotkey efficiencies. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it and uh, see what we can do for you. All right, here we go. Okay, so the first thing I would say is go into Maya, go to Windows. Let's go open up our hockey editor under Settings and Preferences. You're gonna see this guy right here. If you've never been in here before, then you're gonna see Maya default here. Go in here and basically you're just going to duplicate this one and then rename it. And I've got mine in here already. We'll go to Maya's mic. And then once that's loaded up, go into Menu Items. Um, go into Animation. We're going to basically, basically, um, today we're going to specifically go into key and playback. So you'll see here that for setting keys, I've got my Alt S set. All right, so it's pretty basic. And the way I do that is I basically rest my thumb on my Alt key at all times. And then I have my three fingers basically across ASD. Okay, so I'll explain this in a minute, but let's go through the hotkeys real quick and then we'll talk about it. So Alt. S for set keys, and then let's close that up. And then we're going to playback. This is the big one right here, okay? So I have my toggle set to play on S. So I can hit S, it plays to my timeline. I hit S again, it stops, okay? Then down here, I've got next key, previous key, next frame, and previous frame. These are big ones right here. So you'll see I've got D and A set for my next key and previous key, and then Alt D and Alt A for my next frame, previous frame. So imagine that you have that, that uh, pointer finger on your D key and then your ring finger on your A key, okay? And then by either just pressing D and A, you can go back and forth on your next keys. And then by holding down the Alt key with your thumb, you can go through next frame, previous frame. And then of course, your middle finger is on S. And if I do Alt S, I, I set a key and if I hit S, I just play my animation back. So just those very basic changes to your hotkeys is basically you spending 90% of the time just looking at your animation on the monitor and not looking down to move your left hand over to your arrow keys, then going back over to your other keys, okay? So I would say give it a try. Give yourself a good solid week, try it out. I think you'll fall in love with it. I think it'll change your life. I think it'll change how you animate and I think it'll make you much more efficient. So let's go into Maya real quick and kind of go through what that means. So now if I just put my, again, my thumb is on the Alt key and I'll usually rest my pinky just on the outside of my Caps key just to kind of anchor my hand, right? Okay, and then from here, I can hit S and plays. I can hit S again, it stops. I can hit D and go through my keys. Right, I can go through A and go back through my keys. I can do Alt D and go through frame by frame. And then Alt A, of course, frame by frame. And then if I do Alt S, I set a key. And then also I do have incremental save set up on my scenes and so I can do Control S to save my scenes. And then it's very easy for my fingers just to go up one and over to do my WER keys for my translate rotate scale. All right, so very simple setup. Not too much work on your hotkeys, um, but a big difference in my opinion, okay? So again, try it out, give yourself just a solid week, and I, and I promise you it'll change the way you animate, it'll make you more efficient. Remember, work smarter, not harder. All right, this is Mike Walling with the Animation Tip, and I hope you have a great day. Happy animating.